once a human-alien hybrid existed on our planet. of the war until it had evolved into a true godlike entity.
actual likelihood of a star child like entity existing and beginning to manifest is not entirely outside the realm of possibility. For as mentioned earlier, the emotions and beliefs of sentient races do eventually give rise to godlike beings that, in essence, become the very embodiment of such traits. The manifestation of an entity such as the Star Child is in actuality an extremely probable prospect.
The star child is a real, true bone skull that has human characteristics, but is not entirely human. It's not a human, that it's an alien-human hybrid, and I don't know how else you can call it. I don't know what other word you need to use. When you look at the physiological differences of the star child, every one of those is a suite of genes that are different from a human being.
scientists say to me, people say to me, well, how are you going to, how are you going to say it's an alien when there's no alien to compare it against? I'm going to give them the alien to compare it against. While this cult was indeed known as the cult of the Star Child, this does not necessarily mean that it was THE cult of the Star Child, and as such, other similar such cults could still theoretically exist throughout the galaxy.
any evidence to support the possibility that a being such as the Star Child could indeed exist? Or is such an idea purely myth and speculation? entity is known by many names, but the one most commonly associated with it is that of the Star Child.
So, all this time you've each sought the Star Child's power to overcome the other. <sighs> The coming of the Star Child. This final figure would be the image of a childlike entity that is enshrouded by starlight. There is still a chance that this figure is indeed the Star Child of humanity.
a star child. 